Welcome back to another episode of Nick Tiffany's Movie Reviews, coming at you online in print format at nicktiffany.com, in podcast form, anywhere you get your podcasts, and in video on YouTube. Today we're talking about an Amazon Prime exclusive streaming now, and it's a million miles away. This is the true story of astronaut Jose Hernandez following his life from a migrant farm worker when he was a child to 30 plus years later, working his butt off and eventually becoming a NASA astronaut. This is such an inspiring story. It, is, it feels like a disservice to call it a feel-good movie. You know, and I wouldn't also call it a drama. It's one of those interesting ones where I feel like it could be easy to pigeonhole something. I'm like, it's PG, family-friendly. You know, I feel like for being 27, I'm just going to say it's not typically the type of film that I'm like actively seeking out, or I'm like, yo, I'm really jazzed for that. The NASA space element totally appealing to me as was the story of Hernandez and so this was one I definitely wanted to check out maybe it's just because Amazon and some of the movies they produce sometimes give me a little cause for pa pause for caution um, but I was very pleasantly surprised with this I mean through and through not only is it just a phenomenal true story but it is a really well done movie Michael Pena continues to show us that he is just so charismatic and such an enjoyable on-screen presence. He really takes Jose's story and manages to do something wonderful with it. Story starts down in the south of California, almost by the Mexican border. Jose's family growing up, they would travel back and forth just, uh, between different seasons. They would work all the way up the southern coast of California, working in vineyards, orchards, as his dad, Salvador, would put it, picking the food that people eat. And until he was about 12 years old, this was Jose's life. Balancing school, trying to learn English, but then spending a lot of his time working in the fields. And he was a young kid who really early on had aspirations and goals beyond what he was doing, far beyond what most dream of. Jose wanted to go to space. He wanted to be in a rocket ship, he was inspired by the Apollo 17 launch. He wanted to get up. He wanted to see the world from there. And so at a certain point in his education, his teacher, Miss Young, kind of talks to his parents and says, you know, you've got this incredibly special child here. But, you know, if you keep replanting a tree in different places, it's never going to grow properly. It's never going to grow strong enough to be on its own. The metaphor hits pretty close to the family, and they decide, okay, you know what? We're going to put our, our dream house that we're kind of, you know, they're saving money so that they can build a house back in Michoacan. And so it's like, you know, we're going to put a pause on it for now. Let's focus on the kids. Let's get them their education. The house can wait. And this is just the first of many sacrifices that Jose's family makes for him. His family being his parents his cousins, his siblings, and then eventually his wife, his children. And over the course of Jose's time, you know, he starts accumulating different degrees as he grows. There was something that I'd read about him that really wasn't pivotal in the movie, but he would kind of helped create this whole technology for mammograms, um, which was interesting and kind of helped pioneer what at the time was one of the biggest leaps and research and being able to identify certain things in that realm. And so I was kind of hoping they'd maybe just touch on that because it's kind of just a flex for him as a scientist and as a person, as an engineer as well. And obviously, you know, this is a underdog story in the sense that everybody overlooks him. You know, the, the receptionist where he finally gets a job assumes that, oh, you're the new guy, you're the janitor, right? So here's the keys, here's all this. It's unfortunate, but unfortunately, that's what actual real life is like. And that's what people like Jose deal with. And so, you know, he keeps his nose to the ground. He keeps working. He works his butt off continually, proving these people wrong and showing not only do I deserve a place here, but I'm pretty sure I'm smarter than everybody in this room without ever coming across as someone who knows he's the big deal. You know, he's very humble. He believes in himself, but it's not until he meets his wife, Adela, who's played by Rosa Salazar in the movie, that things kind of really ramp up for him. When he really has somebody 
in his corner who not only believes in him, but encourages him to chase this crazy, insane goal that, you know, when they were younger, she thought was just a joke or just a dream. But uh, clearly as they got older, they realized, okay, no, this is, you've been rejected from NASA time after time after time. And yet this man still tried year after year. He's like, what can I do to get better, to improve my chances, my condition? And so over the course of almost over a decade, you know, he's trying and trying, trying to carve out a place in NASA. He's working at Johnson Space Center down in Houston, and he's got five kids. And still, his wife supports him. She says, you go, do what you have to do. You know, you've come this far. It's not a silly dream. Don't give up on it. I will find a way. And again, the sacrifices just... At some point, they almost feel insurmountable. Just five children, Rosa putting her own dreams a little bit on the back burner, you know, trying to support Jose. I mean, and it's never, ever shown in a way that feels so detrimental, whether it's to their marriage or just, I can never do anything, you never do anything to help. It is truly this ultimate belief in knowing you can accomplish this. And it's going to take everything you have and we have to do it. But I know that at the end, it's going to be worth it. And it's going to make our family better. It's going to make us closer. It's going to take you somewhere few people have ever been before. And I got to tell you, I just loved, loved, loved this movie. It is inspiring on so many levels. It is a great look, again, at what sacrifice means putting others before yourself, but knowing when to put those people first as well, when you need to chip in. And there's so many just wonderful moments where obviously Jose has been working his whole day. He's tired. He comes home, but there's still work to be done and he never begrudges it. He never complains. He does the work. There's a real, real early on in the story. He asks his dad, he's like, you know, I don't know how is a child. He's asking his dad, while they're out in the fields picking grapes. How can you do this? How do you do this all the time and not hurt and not want more and you're not stressed? I never see it. And, you know, he tells him it's just, I got good at hiding it. I'm good at making, you know, you sometimes you got to get your hands dirty. You've just got to push through it because you're focused on the bigger picture. That's what gets you through so much in life, I think, for most people. Having a goal, having something to work towards, not only is it motivating, but it keeps you kind of going. It keeps you, all right, I'm waking up tomorrow because I'm getting one day closer to realizing this goal or finishing this task, whatever it is. And so there's just tons of great messages in the movie. It never feels like it's pushing anything on you. It was interesting. Amazon's got it listed as, you know, drama, and then it's like faith and something else, which not that there aren't aspects of faith in the film. To me, it just now, you know, it, at no point was it ever like, oh, this is totally a God movie or they're like pushing Christianity or anything like that. Not that I'm like, not that I went in maybe expecting that just because I saw it on there. I didn't care, but it was curious finishing the movie. I was like, oh, I just, there was nothing overtly religious about the film that stood out. Maybe it's just some of the Catholicism in their family or baptism of a child or certain things, but there's nothing wrong with that. I'm like, I don't know. It's just one of those weird things that I feel like as you're flipping through streaming sometime, you're like, would we call that a comedy before we call that like a war drama? No, okay. I don't know. Whoever's labeling things over there, maybe they saw some other cut of this movie, but a million miles away, just phenomenal. Pena and Salazar just have this natural chemistry that you, I mean, you believe so immediately in this couple who support each other, are working for each other, build this incredibly beautiful family, you know, in a span of years while accomplishing all these monumental tasks. It, I mean, I just, I am so glad that I watched this. If you have Amazon Prime, take a chance on it. I think you're going to, probably end up misty eyed for a large portion of it. Like I did. I think someone was in the kitchen cutting onions. So that didn't help my case, but it is just a wonderful, wonderful, inspiring story. 
Jose Hernandez, hats off to you, to your family, to the sacrifices they made. They've got a winery now that he's kind of retired from NASA. And so, you know, he's working with his family again. It's just a beautiful story of not only the family you choose, though, too, but how you choose to show up for your family and the way they inherently support each other. And these people, these migrant workers who, like his father said at the beginning, pick your food, everything that ends up on your plate, in your kitchen, in your <laughs> chef's area, whatever. I got work in a restaurant, so the food that's coming in for us, the avocados, vegetables, everything. All of this is touched by migrant workers who work their butts off tirelessly, endlessly, providing for their families and then largely providing for the country. And so I was really, really glad to see this film highlight that and not only highlight that, but make that point clear that, you know, every time there's been these avocado shortages, every time there's been whatever that people start to whine and groan about, that's because people who spend their lives and their days laboriously picking and harvesting so that you can enjoy your avocado toast, so that you can enjoy having all this fresh produce. And until those people are treated and compensated fairly, you know, maybe I don't need the avocados. Maybe I don't need, I mean, this goes deeper than writer strikes and actor strikes. This is people coming here, trying to make a better living, working jobs that you and I would never dream of working. And not complaining about it and just gritting their teeth. And so to Jose and his family and countless others, this film is just a testament to resiliency and everything you can accomplish when you have that goal in mind. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful movie. So please check it out. If you've got prime, stay tuned for more theatrical and streaming releases. We got some expendables action coming up. The creator Flora and son, which is some more John Carney, which I can't get enough of. So there's some really great stuff coming out. Thank you again for listening, you guys. Be sure to follow NT Movie Reviews on all social media networks, podcast platforms, and on YouTube. Thanks again and have a great day.